Okay, so hello po ulit. Dito naman tayo ngayon sa next example na rin. Next example is A homogeneous 800 kg bar AB is supported at either end by a cable as shown in the figure. So ito yung figure natin. Calculate the smallest area of each cable if the stresses is not to exceed 90 MPa in bronze and 120 MPa in steel. So, meron na tayong mga given. Ang maximum stress na given sa bronze bronze equal to 90 MPa Then ang maximum stress ng steel is equal to 120 MPa So ang hinahanap ay yung area ng dalawang cable smallest area so paano natin kukunin yan una muna natin gagawin is mag draw muna tayo ng FBD yung free diagram itong bar so to drawing natin yung free body diagram ng bar Meron siyang cable dito which is subjected to a tensile force. Dito rin. Tensile force kasi meron yung weight ng bar na nag a dun sa dalawang cable which is 800 kg. So, paano natin kukunin yung mga force force of bronze force dito sa may steel makukuha natin yung mga force na nag sa cable by using yung pag-aralan natin sa mechanics 1 summation of forces is equal to 0 summation moment is equal to 0 equilibrium So, paano natin makukuha yung unknown forces? Bali, dalawa. Anong gagamitin natin? Gamitin natin yung moment equation at point A or B. Mag-moment na lang tayo dito sa may point A. Point A. Summation moment at A equals 0. Counterclockwise, positive sense. So, ano mga forces na nag dito sa point A na nagkakas ng moment? Yung PS saka yung weight ng bar. Yung weight ng bar is equal to ito kasi mas lang yung given dito. Kailangan natin siyang gawing force. Kaya, weight as a force is mass times gravity. Gravity is ginagamit 9.81. So, yung value weight ng bar is equal to 800 kg times 9.81 meters per second square. So, value yung weight na ng bar is equal to 7,848 newton. So, kapag nag-summation moment tayo at point A, force PS And the weight as a force causes a moment at point A. So, paano natin kukunin na? May unknown tayo. One unknown. Two unknowns pala. Kaya tayo gagamit ng moment. So, summation moment A. PS. So, nahin na natin yung PS. Force. Times distance. Distance niya is. Meron tayong length natin. So, distance niya. 
from force P is to point A is 10, 10 meters. Then, plus or minus? Minus, minus, kasi nagkakos siya ng paklakwise direction. Kasi ang, ang sign convention natin, sinabi natin, positive sense yung moment na nagkakos ng counterclockwise direction from point A. Ngayon, yung weight force naman niya, is nagkakos ng counterclockwise. So, minus. Yung weight is 7,848 newton. Is equal to 0. So, makuha na natin yung value ng PS. Which is equal to So, bali may kulang pa pala tayo. Kailangan natin ng moment arm ng weight force. So, 4, 7, 8, 4, 8 times the distance which is dito siya sa gitna center of gravity of the bar gitna ng geometry. So, rectangular shape lang naman siya kaya makuha natin yung center of gravity niya by dividing the length of the bar. So, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, magiging 5 meters yung lever arm na ito equal to 0. So, makuha na natin yung value ng PS by siguro transposing hindi kaya shift solve which is 3924 3924 newton then makuha natin yung value ng PB by summation forces vertical so summation forces vertical positive sense upward direction so PB plus PS kasi para silang pataas minus yung weight force kasi downward direction is equal to 0 so, meron na tayong value ng PS and unknown na lang natin is PB. Then, if we substitute, makukuha na natin yung value ng PB which is PB is equal to substitute natin, transpose mo na natin 7848 newton, transpose yung PS minus 3924 newton so yung PB natin is equal to also 39.24 Newton. 3,924 Newton. Pwede naman may shortcut dito. Di ba may symmetry naman na sila? So, by symmetry, magdi-divide na lang. Maghahati sila sa force na binubuhat. So, bali, yung weight niya, 7848 divided by 2, the two forces, resisting it, yun yung magiging reaction nila. Okay, so move on na tayo dun sa hinahanap ng problem, which is the area of the cables. So, unahin muna natin yung bronze. Bronze, so stress is equal to P over A. Meron naman na tayong stress. Meron na rin tayong force applied dun sa cable which is nakuha natin kanina all over area. Ito yung hinahanap natin ngayon. Yung area. So, sa bronze stress is maximum stress na kaya niyang i-resist is 90 MPa which is 90 Newton per gamit tayo ng mm square is equal to the force bronze 3924 Newton lower area so makuha na natin yung area smallest area na pwede 
gamitin ng bronze which is 43.6 mm square Bakit ito yung smallest area na pwede natin gamitin? Kasi by tignan, kung titignan natin dito sa formula stress is directly proportional to the force stress is inversely proportional to the area Ibig sabihin nun, kapag stress is directly proportional to the force, kapag tumataas yung force, tumataas din yung stress, yung value ng stress. Then, kapag yung area, tumataas yung stress, lumiliit inversely proportional sila. So vice versa din 'yon. Kapag yung area liliit, yung stress lalaki. So kapag pinalaki natin tong area, yung stress bababa. Eh di kaya niyang i-resist. Pero kapag pinat pag ito yung hinahanap natin is the least er, smallest area. Masasabi natin ito yung smallest area kasi kung mas pinaliit pa natin ito, mag exceed na siya sa 90 newton. So ulit, kapag pinalaki natin yung area, yung stress, liliit. Pero kapag pinalit natin yung area, yung stress, lalaki. Because they are inversely proportional. So punta naman na tayo dun sa steel. The stress of the steel is equal to 120 MPa. It's equal to the force applied, yung nakuha natin kanina, 3924 Newton all over the area, smallest area. So shift solve, siguro, makuha natin yung area. Which is 32.7 mm square. So same principle pa rin kasi nakabase siya dun sa my formula. Ito na yung smallest possible area. Area nung cable. So ito yung solution natin. So, thank you po ulit sa pakikinig. Kung may mga mali po, mampaki-comment na lang po para may ayos natin. And kung may suggestions or queries din po, paki-comment na rin po. Salamat po.